So last episode, we started adding power generation to the space station, and in today's episode, we're probably going to be working on the spaceship again. So yeah, we need more generators on the spaceship, uh, that's one thing, and we also we also discussed the, uh, the battery situation. Now, the battery situation is uh, interesting. I think we can get away with just one battery. Uh, that, that should be good. I can guarantee for a fact that that's not true. We're actually gonna need way more batteries, but I haven't built the warp drive yet, so maybe, maybe possibly there's a chance. All right, so we are gonna need a lot of silver for this because the redstone transmission coils are probably the most expensive part. We're gonna need some tin ingots, which is pretty easy. Some iron ingots, which is also pretty easy. And uh, that's pretty much it. As you can see in this chest, I have not wasted much of this stuff at all. Actually, I don't even need silver from there. Guess what? I have blocks of silver in here. <laughs> we, we don't even need to use the ore anymore. Redstone is a little bit questionable because I know that we don't have much redstone. And, uh, you know, every time I go to make something, I run out of redstone. Not intentionally. But I I end up running out of red. Got a good number. We got 16 going here. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's. Well, well, that's that's pretty easy to make. And then we just need to shove some redstone in the bottom. Unfortunately, I don't have enough redstone. I I have like another stack. That's that's okay. That's okay. I have another stack. We'll all be fine. But I just don't want to waste another stack because then I'll have to go mining again. Okay. There we go. One more. So, that, so we're, we're, we're gonna need to go mining at some point again. Okay. We, ha we have a good number of um, compression dynamos. I haven't checked on the satellites. Alright, so how much have the satellites collected? They have collected a lot of data. <laughs> um, where's my chips? Where's my chips? Okay. Yeah, we don't actually need to do any of that stuff where we duplicate the data anymore. But I was doing that as like a good demonstration. And we now have a million chips because of it, so that's also pretty good. Connect. Give me all the data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me some of that. Good. Oh dear, I just maxed out this mass chip with a thousand data because I haven't been here in so long. Um, that one's gone. Oh, I threw it out. Okay. Alright, so since we have two 1,000 chips and a few other chips, we, uh, we're we going to dump some of this uh, distance data off here because we have a bit of surplus. And we're going to jump off this building, hopefully not die, like yesterday. We almost died yesterday. Alright, so this thing is almost full of da uh, distance data. So that would be one of these chips right in the middle. Then we need a mass chip for the edge. Another mass chip for the edge. A composition chip goes in the front. And that's pretty much all we have. Yeah, this system here ships them out back up to the the, the um, space tower. So, pretty nice. And apparently because it's cyclic, it decides all of them need to go in a stack. <laughs> um... Wait a second. Oh no, they just got shipped up to here. Never mind. Okay, we maxed out a ship here, so we're gonna throw that in there. Uh, linking thing. Yes, linker. Yes. Okay, so you slap it with a linker, slap it with another linker, and it should be good to go. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have enough fuel, but it's ready for launch. That's that's good enough for my book. Go! Have fun in space, rocket. So, I'm pretty sure people want me to race the rocket with my jetpack, so I'm gonna do that now. I don't know how fast this thing is going, but, um, I, I cannot catch up with it. Yeah, I told you you didn't need all that fuel. That's perfect. Good thing I remembered to wear my oxygen gear, definitely. <laughs> okay, so here is the diesel generator area, as yesterday. We were working on this a bit. So, we're just gonna slap these down here. We need to get some big fuel tanks and things, and, uh... We have too many generators, but this this is enough to power the warp drive, I assume. You know how much energy this is producing? This is producing so much energy that um, uh, it produces more than small fusion reactors, you know? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not producing more than fusion reactors could. Uh, th this, is, this is definitely not doing that much. But it is, it is pretty amazing that we're powering a ship using diesel. 
So yeah, there's a thing called a dynamic tank. If you've never played Mechanism before, it's not gonna be familiar to you. But the dynamic tank is a massive tank that you can build out of blocks, and it's uh, pretty nice. I'll show you guys in a second. Now, it is pretty expensive, but what you need is dynamic tanks and dynamic valves, which are just uh, these, with the, you know, dynamic tanks surrounding that. You only need two valves, unless you're building something that needs more, and, and that would be for, like, outputting more or inputting more, or, you know, just handling more fluids, inputs, and outputs. Uh, pretty simple. In this case, I'm probably going to be building about, um, that many... <laughs> That many of those pieces, uh, I don't know about any other pieces. Okay, uh, uh, next we need we need the, um, the the fluid inputs and outputs for fuel. Okay, so here's one of the things we're gonna make. We're gonna make a um, yeah, it's a little expensive, but th over the next few episodes we're gonna be building that, which is the quantum entangle porter, which is how we're gonna get fuel. It it, se it seems strange to teleport fuel from another dimension. But actually, it is the easiest way for us to get fuel without having to go get millions of gallons of fuel ourselves. And to make it, we're gonna we're gonna do some. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do magic for this. We we don't need to really use cyclic magic. We can just probably build it. It it definitely isn't gonna be too hard to build. I'm pretty good at building mechanism stuff, so I'll I'll go ahead and get started now. So we need uh, to make these from and compress the oh compress obsidian I completely. Uh, so this is when I realized I was not gonna be building this inside the episode because it's gonna take a long time to build it. But don't worry because I I'll start work eventually. Now I may work on that outside of episode because it's gonna be bigger. But I don't know if I'll have time outside of episode because I am building some things. I'm building a laser and also other things that are pretty interesting. And I don't know if I'll show them with you all, but I might. I might just show them with you all, because they are they are pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely did not forget to put on my oxygen gear that time. Again. <laughs> Alright, so you see those, those dinky little fuel tanks? This one's gonna be a massive fuel tank. We're gonna completely outdo that one by making this massive one. I don't know how big this is gonna be, but it's gonna be big. We'll have uh, one for input from this side, and then we'll have the other one that handles, uh, you know, uh, stuff on that side. We'll also need to upgrade all of this to ultimate cable, because it'll be epic and good and better than what it is now. I'll put fuel in there, and then we'll just make this thing, like, really thin. A thin, tall tank. Okay, never mind. We're just making this really long. It's, it's just, like, one-dimensional at this point. Forward and backwards. It's, well, it is three-dimensional. It is a cube. But, I mean, technically, if we're, if we're thinking about it, it's just like the inside is just a line of cubes, right? Alrighty. So, I think next episode, I can probably get us ready with a warp drive. Maybe. That is... Uh, it's a bit expensive, I think. But we're going to need to get that ready. We're also going to need to get an altitude controller. A... Uh, we should put this down on a list. You know? We should really list these things out. Maybe, maybe. I, oh crap, that's a logistical transporter. Those are for items, not for fluids. Where is the fluid transporter? Okay, there's the mechanical pipes. I don't think I've ever upgraded mechanical pipes to be better. Except for maybe, like, in the, the last... Oh no. Oh no, it's filling up with water. We're gonna have to fix that up. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really bad. We'll have to use a trash void, so let me let, 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 let me go ahead and show you all something. Okay, Cyclic adds this this little garbage bin. It gets rid of items, waters, and pretty much everything, just like a normal trash can would. So, uh, yeah, if you wanna, if you really hate water, you can just uh, dump all your water into here because it's it's pretty much garbage anyway. Yeah, so next episode we're gonna, we're actually gonna be able to hook this thing up with some uh, fuel, I think. We're also going to need to hook it up with a wind turbine for powering the uh, dimensional transceiver, but that'll be fine. I'm pretty sure I do have a pump in that dimension. I'll also need to hook up a, uh, a chunk loader, but I know where the chunk loader is, so don't worry. I think we got that one covered. Okay, yeah, next episode, that's what we're going to be doing. So if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, you know, please consider liking and subscribing. If you guys got comments, questions, or suggestions about what we should do uh, next, leave them down below. 
or anything in general, you know, you could you could leave anything down below. Uh, I'll see y'all next time, and uh, hopefully we, we actually uh, make the dimensional transceiver next episode, because that'd be pretty good.